Liberal Opposition. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Unlike many successful leaders who underpromise and overdeliver, this Premier overpromises and underdelivers. During the election last year, she promised 140 family care clinics, but only three have been opened to the Premier. Your term is nearly 50% over, but you're only 2.14% done. Why so little progress? The uh, Honourable uh, Minister of Health, or the Premier? I, uh, I had the opportunity today to uh, be in Red Deer doing something very exciting, and that was opening the Central Alberta Regional Cancer Treatment Centre with uh, our, minister of, our Minister of Health, and had the opportunity to actually talk, and I'm sure he'll elucidate, on the commitment, the work that's being done in communities across the country, province right now, Mr. Speaker, to ensure that family care clinics will be up and running as per our commitment, because at the end of the day, by the time that we get to the next election, we want to keep our commitment to ensure that families have access to health care, that they do it through family care clinics, that we're working with communities, and it's going well, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Leader. Mr. Speaker, uh, maybe this is just a misunderstanding. I'm reading the Premier's platform. What she actually promised was up to 140 family care clinics. Up to, Mr. Speaker, there's a little bit of wiggle room here. <laughs> So let's see. Between three? three FCCs have opened, another 24 have been announced, and up to 140 were promised. So here's my question, Premier. In your mind, is up to 140 actually mean three, 27, or 140? Well, Mr. Speaker, we've been very clear that we want to work with communities to get these done, and we're working with 24 communities right now that are going to have family care clinics very soon, Mr. Speaker. They look different across the province because communi communities want them to look different. We are very hopeful that we're going to be able to achieve the 140 target. That's certainly where we want to go. If that's where communities want to go, we're going to be able to do it, Mr. Speaker. Later. Mr. Speaker, I'll tell you one thing this Premier is really good at. It's making announcements. It doesn't take a medical degree to know that you can't provide medical care inside an announcement. You actually need a fully staffed clinic. Announcements won't cut it, Premier. Signs on PC colors won't cut it. On vacant lots. What we need, and I hate to be repetitive, are fully staffed clinics. Premier, how many FCCs will you guarantee will be built, opened, fully staffed and providing care to Albertans by the 2016 election. Not announcement. Mr. Speaker, in fact, I absolutely agree with the Honourable Member, and that's exactly what we did in Red Deer today. We opened the Central Alberta Regional Cancer, Cancer Centre that's going to be able to provide services and radi radiation to people throughout the province. And you have to make sure, Mr. Speaker, of course, that these are staffed. We are committed to working with communities, and as I've said, if we have communities that are ready to open in 140 locations, they will be open, Mr. Speaker.